Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you probably guessed from the title, today's video is the one that I've been promising for about a thousand years. This is my makeup studio tour. I really can't wait to show you guys around the whole inside of my beauty studio. It is absolutely everything and more. This is beyond a dream. I can't even believe that this space is mine and that this is where I go to work every day. So before we get into this video, I just want to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I already know and appreciate how unbelievably lucky I am to have a space like this. This video is no way of me bragging. I am incredibly lucky to have such supportive and amazing parents that have really, really helped me follow my dreams, basically. This is a huge dream, a huge milestone in my career. So before we get into the tour, I do actually have loads of snippets of clips before and during the process of building the room which is actually really interesting to be able to see where this space is and how they built it all the little behind the scenes things that i promised you guys months ago when i teased this on my instagram <laughs> i'm going to be including these clips in before and then you can see the big reveal of it after so this studio was built in my back garden it's technically known as a garden room and we went through a company called wrp garden rooms they are the leading garden room specialist in the south coast they are based in Dorset they do actually have a kind of planner on their website where you can design the actual studio and then you send it off to the company and they come back with a quote so you can see exactly how much everything costs with all of the windows the doors the materials on the outside the colors and things like that so we did all of that before they actually came out to see the space in the garden i'm saying we in all of this because all of these decisions were kind of joint made with my parents i still live at home so i was putting up this studio in their back garden we chose a really dark gray outside and then obviously the inside is a complete crisp white you do have the option of different colored walls inside here i know if you have a look on their website which I'll be linking in the description box below. You can actually have a look at different colors inside here, not just white, but obviously that just felt like the most appropriate option for everything that I was gonna be doing in here anyway. The building work started for the studio on the 14th of October. Originally they had told us it was gonna take them about three days to have the whole project completed, have the whole studio built, but it actually only took them two days. The first day the team arrived at about eight o'clock in the morning and they literally worked solid all throughout the day. I think they had like the smallest little lunch break and then they carried on but they finished the first day at about half past five and by that time they'd already pretty much put up the entirety of the studio. All they had left to do was kind of the finishing touches to the roof. So obviously I'm not too knowledgeable on materials and building and things like that but as you'll see in the time lapse the materials that they use to actually build the outside of the studio, it's not like brick or cement or wood like a kind of shed would be in the garden. It's like a composite material, I think I'm saying that right. It's a composite material that has insulation inside. So once the warmth is in here, it does stay quite warm. Everything was pretty much done before the second day. So I was really pleased at that. So the company WRP Garden Rooms, I would give nothing but a five star review. They obviously built it in two days days so if you're looking for something that's done quickly but really professionally and honestly the quality of this studio is incredible I would highly recommend them if you are in the UK so once my dad had put all of the flooring down then came the task of actually kitting it out with all of the furniture that I needed and kind of stylizing it with all of the decor items that I wanted as well I actually roped in my boyfriend Adam to come with me to Ikea we went on I think two Two different trips to Ikea to pick up furniture. I was so naive thinking that I was going to go on that first trip and get absolutely everything that I wanted and needed in here. That didn't happen. Um, so everything has taken its time to kind of find the right pieces that I wanted and get it all fully finished. So I think I have teased you guys enough. Hopefully everything that I mentioned in the video, I will link in the description box if I can find it. If I can't, then I'll try and find some similar options as well. Let's get into the tour of my makeup studio and I hope you enjoy. off 
in the client side of the room. This is literally right when you first walk in the front door. And the reason why I wanted it at this end was because I knew that this room was gonna be used for filming. And I thought the last thing that I wanted to be doing was getting customers and clients to come in the room and then walk all the way past filming equipment or anything like that. When you first walk in the door, you'll see that I have got this really, really nice doormat. I wanted a doormat that was gonna be fun and I really liked these ones that had words on it and I found this one from a seller on Etsy that's from Florida I believe and then I also really like the idea of having like a rug underneath the doormat there because I wanted it to feel a little bit warmer so I found this little rug from HomeSense and I think this was literally about £10 if that and it's the perfect size for when you first walk in the door so the most recent items that have been added to my studio are these two shelves on the wall here. They honestly only were put up about, I wanna say about two hours ago. <laughs> but these are both from Dunelm and I really wanted a couple of shelves in this space because I felt like it really needed it. It was quite white on the walls around here and I also felt like I needed these kind of things to go up on a shelf rather than being on my tabletop surface. So these little pots are from Ikea and I just use these for my cotton buds and my mascara ones for clients as well. Both of these are from IsoClean and they're both biodegradable as well so they're not the plastic ones. These aren't usually out, I just have them out for show at the moment to show you guys but usually I do keep these away in my chest of drawers. I like to put these away so they don't feel like they're catching dust or getting dirty or anything like that. So I like to keep all of my brushes out on the surface here as well. This bag is from my Kitco. This is where I organize all of my makeup brushes and I just leave this out in the corner. I really like this way of storing all of my brushes because I can actually put away all of the brushes underneath this plastic little flap here. So again, it's not out open to the world to get dusty and things like that. So I just keep that over there in that corner. Um, the little pathetic little fairy lights that are around my mirror here are both from Ikea. I expected these like bulb ones to be a lot brighter, um, but they're not. I don't even know if you can see them on on camera. I don't even think you can see them at all. This mirror here is actually from Ikea as well. It is the perfect size to go above this chest of drawers. So I'll link that below as well. So in this corner here, I have this little basket. This one is from B&M. This is a recent purchase, but something that has been really, really helpful for when I've done clients. Because I like to keep all of my mostly used palettes in this basket, a couple of brow products, and some makeup wipes in here and it just keeps everything all together rather than having like piles of palettes on the desk. This little pot I actually got from Ikea. I got a pack of three of them. I think they're literally like £1.50 if that. I keep this hooked over the basket here because I like to use this for my dirty brushes. I kind of wish I got it in black because it would have gone with the black wire of the basket and also it doesn't show up as much dirt but it is really handy to have that there because again have more space on the surface here for just products rather than piles and piles of brushes. I can keep the brushes in the pot over here and it doesn't interfere with anything I'm doing on the surface here. We'll just, we'll just come down a little bit just to show you the chest of drawers. This is also from Ikea. This is the Malm chest of drawers. So I'm not going to go through any of the products that are actually inside this chest of drawers because I am going to dedicate that for a separate video. So before I move on to the next section, I'm just going to show you this chair that I use for all of my clients. This is from Amazon. I'm going to link the exact one down below if I can find it. But this one is amazing for clients mainly because of how high you can get this chair. But it is completely leather as well so this is easy to clean between clients. But the best part about it is that it spins. Honestly if you have a chair that spins like this then you'll know how much easier it is to do makeup because you can literally spin your client rather than having to walk all the way around their legs. I've just got a little bin down in the corner there. That is one of those pedal bins. I got it in black rather than than white because I felt like again white shows up a lot of dirt so I really wanted to get a black one. That one is just from B&M as well but I think you can probably find so many different types of pedal bins on Amazon and things like that. So I'm going to move you on to the next section of this studio which is where I do all of my content creation and all of my makeup and where I take all of my pictures and where I film, all of that good stuff. So guys moving on from the client side we come to the middle of the room which is 
is the section where I do all of my filming for YouTube, where I do my makeup for all of my content on Instagram and also where I'll do my makeup if I'm just getting ready for the day. You may recognize the little decoration on that shelf from my previous video. This is basically here just to add a little bit of decoration to the background of my videos. It isn't really there for any other purpose other than that. This table is actually from a brand on Instagram. I can't for the life of me remember what it's called but I will link it in the description box below. It is essentially known as a console table but I wanted something that was going to be tall and also small in width because obviously I don't have the biggest amount of space in the middle here so I didn't want to be taking up too much room with an unnecessarily wide table so that's why I went for a console table instead of an actual desk. This bench here is from Wayfair. I'll try and link it below but I'm sure the last time I looked it was out of stock. Okay guys so moving on to the final section of the room and this is probably my favourite section as you can probably tell this is where I store and organise all of my personal makeup and I'm honestly obsessed with it I'm so pleased with how it turned out it is actually pretty much exactly if not better than the way I'd designed it in my head <laughs> for the longest time I knew that this was the way I wanted to store and organise all of my makeup but I just didn't know how I was going to bring it to life in this kind of small area so I'm not actually going to be going through any of the makeup inside of this collection. If you'd like a video of me going through all of the makeup that I have and things like that then let me know in the comments below. But to go through what this kind of system is because I teased this on my Instagram and so many people actually didn't know what it was and I was kind of shocked because I thought everyone knew what this kind of setup was just down to the fact that so many huge influencers and like beauty YouTubers have this setup. So I wanted to kind of position myself that wasn't going to be completely in the way. As you might have seen, this is actually a really small space so it's hard to kind of show you in the angles that you can see it as if you were stood here. The kind of storage units that you can see, this big one here and this little one here are known as the IKEA PAX units. But I was absolutely obsessed with the way these influencers and other makeup artists on Instagram were kind of storing all of their makeup in this kind of like wardrobe setup because essentially they are designed to be used as wardrobes rather than makeup storage because this is kind of excessive for the everyday kind of person. <laughs> to just give you a little bit of a rundown on the actual dimensions of the units themselves, this big one that I've got right in front of me here is the 100 centimeter width unit and it has got a 50 centimeter depth. So to just show you how deep this drawer actually goes and a little bit of a sneak peek into my palette drawer, this drawer is actually incredibly deep. Everything that you see here is what I designed on the IKEA PAX planner. So they do have a way you can design the wardrobe units on their website in the exact measurements of the room, the exact drawers you want, the colour, everything like that you can change and design exactly how you wanted it. This PAX frame here is a unit that is 75 centimetres wide and then I went for a smaller depth of drawer which is 30 centimetres. Just to show you this top drawer is where I keep all of my makeup bags and you can kind of see in the mirror there. So the height of them, I believe you can get them in two different heights, 201 centimetres and then I want to say 236 centimetres, don't quote me on that, but you may be thinking that this little one here is obviously a lot shorter than the big one that's in front of me and that is because my dad actually customised this unit. He cut off the bottom of it to make it a lot shorter because originally I had in mind that this unit was going to be as tall as the other one but where we have this window at the back here, this is going to be great for the summer when I want to obviously open it out and have a lot more air running through because I didn't want it to get too hot and stuffy. If I had this unit as tall as the other one, it would have completely cut that window in half. He suggested that it would have looked really, really strange had I done that, so I did listen to him for a change <laughs> and let him customise this one out and change it so it would be a lot shorter. So you can't actually buy these at this height. Okay, so the last little part of this set is this mirror area here. Something that was really important to me to have in this studio was a kind of cupboard area that I can store away all of the ugly things and all of the big bulky things that I really didn't want on show. So I was desperate for a cupboard that was going to store all of those things away but in a nice way that you wouldn't really know what was behind the door. So this is actually 
actually something that my dad and his friend kind of designed themselves and it's not actually a cupboard all it is is an actual door that's attached to this unit on a hinge so you can pull it open and behind that is just a shelf to store things and the rest of it is just kind of a cupboard to hide away all of those ugly things the way I open it is I actually pull it from the top and then open it out like so. So I can use this space to store away my tripod, my lights, everything that I might want to tidy away. And I can put it in this cupboard here and nobody will even know because it's just hidden behind this mirror. So yeah, I am really pleased with this whole section. I actually, I'm just completely in love with it. I just love the way I can organize and put away all of my makeup a lot nicer. The beauty of these drawers is that I can really open them up see exactly what I have in my collection and kind of shop my collection a whole lot more than what I did when I was in my room. But as I said, if you would like to see everything that I have inside these drawers, I don't know how interesting it will be, but if you would like to see my makeup collection and what I have inside all of these drawers, then please let me know in the comments below. So I've just moved the camera down a little bit so I can show you my desk area. The chair that I've got here at this desk is from Amazon. Again, I really wanted something that was black to break up all of the white. The desk itself is from Ikea again. Something that I want to do for this area in the future is actually find some amazing prints to go on the wall above my computer here because I do really feel like this area is really empty. I have found a bunch from Desenio but it is just something that I'll probably have to wait for next year when I can afford that because this has been a pricey project and those prints were something that was way down on the list to buy. The last thing that I wanted to mention, I completely forgot about it, was this plant. So this one is from Ikea. I still need to find a really cute little plant pot to go around the outside of that. I want something like one of those fabric plant pots to add, again, a little bit of warmth to the room. So guys, that is my makeup studio tour all complete. <laughs> enjoyed having a little nosy around everything in here. As I said, everything that I have mentioned, I will try and link in the description box below. But I am absolutely in love with this space. I honestly can't wait for what the future holds for my little YouTube channel and my Instagram page. And I really hope you guys stick around for the journey. So please make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Let me know what you thought to the studio in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see See you in my next video. Bye!